So I'm not going to cover the basics of matrix multiplication. You can get that from the Khan Academy video. But I want to show you what matrix multiplication means in this UI. All right. Uh, again, just a quick review. This row times this column gives you this value. And this row times this column gives you this value right here. All right. So just folk, don't worry about the matrix for now. Don't worry about the, the result here. Just look at uh, these two sliders. I have a, the vector 1, 1. So the x value of this blue vector, all right, let me actually round this thing up. This is a vector. The x portion is 1, the y portion is 1. So I go over 1, I go up 1, I get the this resulting blue vector. Now as I grab this slider and move the x forward, you'll see that the vector down here, watch it stretch out in the x direction. Okay, we'll take the x to roughly 3, and there we go. I'm actually able to hit a perfect 3 there. Okay, and then the y, let's take the y up. Oh, we could take the y down if we wanted to. Let's take the y down down there. Let's go up. Let's go up. So the y I'm going to take to uh, 5. Okay, so we go over 1, 2, 3. We go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we end up with our resulting blue vector there. And, and often that's how we look at vectors is these values mean that you just go on your Cartesian grid over 1, 2, 3, and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the, the end result is the vector. Well... Um, often you'll see a physicist, and this is, this is the proper way or the way I want you to think about vectors, is really it's not 3, 5, the coordinate 3, 5. It's actually 3 times this vector, this, this one I have pointed directly in the x direction, plus 5 times this vector. All right, so let me show you... Again, matrix multiplication, we take this row times it by this column, but, uh, but let's look at this a different way. I want to say three times this vector. Well, what is this vector? This vector is 1, 0. Okay, do you see it? In fact, actually, I'll circle it. Let's circle it in red. 1, 0 is our first, we call them actually basis vectors because we're basing the blue vector off of the the two red ones, all right? And then this vector is 0 in the x, but uh, 1 in the y. Well, that's this vector right here. Okay, so so don't think of it as the coordinate over 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Instead, I want you to think of it as 3 times this vector plus 5 times this vector. Let me actually write that out. We'll do we'll switch to black. It's 3 times right now the vector 1, 0, okay, plus 5 times the vector 0, 1, 0, 1. And you'll see it's sometimes written as i and j. So these are, i and j make our basis vectors. It's just the basis from which we go off of to get our resulting vector. Well, what, what, what would happen? I want you to think of what would happen if I took this 1 and changed it to a 2. Okay? In fact, let me go as far as... I wonder how granular... Yeah, I th thought that would happen. But let's change this to a 2. Alright? So now instead of 3 times 1 for the x, and remember this is kind of our x direction, this top value here. Instead of 3 times 1, it's going to be 3 times 2 plus 5 times nothing out here. Alright, so I can actually do that with my uh, handy dandy 2D harness. I'm going to go and I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to slide it up to a 2. Watch what happens, you'll see this basis vector stretch to a 2. And as that stretches to a 2, also watch the uh, blue resulting vector there. Can you think of, can you pause the video and think what's going to happen when I do this? You'd be wise to pause the video and think about it. Let's go. Watch it slowly, I'm taking this up to a 2. Right there, okay, roughly 2, okay, 2.05, all right? You can see I've kept the original basis vector of 1, 1, and then this green vector is actually the resulting basis. It's the it's the actual basis. So 2, you know, you see that? St I stretched that, that green, the, the red vector, I stretched that out to where the green one is. That's a 2, all right? Well, now 3 times 2 makes 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then our y is still, we didn't change any of the y's here. 
So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the resulting vector, if I could get this down to a perfect 2, I can't because of the way the program's written. But if I could get it to a perfect 2, it would end right there uh, at a 1, 2, 3, 6, 5. All right, on the Cartesian grid. But we don't necessarily have to worry too much about this Cartesian grid because we're just rolling off these basis vectors, all right? Now watch what happens. We can do the same with the y. Let's take the y down just half. I'm going to take this 1, so instead of 5 times 1, it's going to be 5 times 0.5. And think about what is 5 times 0.5. Well, it's, it's 2.5. So let's let's take this down. Watch watch again. Watch. You'll see the green. This guy has a green basis behind it too and then watch the blue as I do that. Let's take it down to, t to 0 0.5. How about 0.55? Can we? Yeah, maybe we'll just have to stick with 0.55. Notice the basis vector is roughly half. Then notice we're almost roughly 2.5. I can't get my slider to a perfect 0.5 but but 2.5 there. So, so the blue vector, this is why we call them linear combinations. It's just a combination of of uh, taking taking these values, timesing them by the basis vectors, and then adding. It's a combination of the basis vectors. That's why we call them linear. All right, we can we can times by a scalar. That's linear. All right, we can add. That's linear. So that's why it's linear combination. This blue vector is a combination of the two green vectors. Okay, linearly, but but multiply it and add it together. All right. So so anyway. I, there you go. <laughs> let's uh, let's have a little fun with this now that we've we've done all this. Notice I've said let's 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 get back to uh, let's get back to one one. Okay, let me just uh, erase all that and let's see. If, can I take this down to one? Take this up to one. Uh, where's one? Right there. And uh, we'll leave this at three five. Okay. So so you know if I stretch this guy out in his x direction, that the resulting blue vector, his x stretches as well. Notice the tip of this resulting vector stretches on the x. Okay, but there's nothing forcing me keeping this basis vector pointed perfectly to the right on the x-axis. There's another slider here that determines the y location of this basis vector. Okay, so so watch what happens. I'm going to take it, let's see if we can get an even two Oh, there's 205k. Okay. And then I'm going to grab this second slider here. Remember, this makes up our first basis vector. If I can get the green. This is our first basis vector, this vector right here. I'm going to slide the y. Let's just slide it. I'll, I'll take it negative. And notice what happens to the blue vector in relationship to our, our first basis vector there. You see? See, as I slide that down, I slid it down. Now it's negative 1. So... So the end result of this is is a 2.05 to the right, and then negative one down, and that that changed our resulting vector here to go down with it. This vector is still a linear combination of the two basis vectors. It's three times the first vector. It's three times this green vector here, plus uh, five times the second basis vector, which is a zero one. So up five. So so let's have some fun. If I, I'm going to try to eyeball this a little bit. All right. In fact, actually, we can look at it. Look, here's one. Th this vector is 205 and negative 1 down. Well, if I went 205, negative 1 down again, 205 roughly, negative 1 down, that would put me here. So here's another one. Okay. But remember, there's three of them. I said three of them. So let's go over two roughly and then down uh, negative 1. We get that. Or right there, sorry, right there. And then we're still going five times times this other basis vector, so that takes us straight up in the Y. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, look where we ended up. Look where we ended up. Okay? So anyway, in fact, just to illustrate this five, I'm going to say five times this basis vector, which I'll, I'll do in red. I'll do in red. It's, it's one, two, three, four, Five. So see, I'm adding this basis vector to that basis vector, a linear combination, three of this basis vector plus five of that basis vector gives us our resulting blue vector. So yeah, matrix multiplication, row times column, oh, you know, but what's it really doing? It's just saying, hey, it's a linear combination. It's three times this 
vector plus 5 times this vector gives us our result 6, 15, 2. So here we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0.15, and then up 1, 2. All right. Anyway, that's that's that we use the matrices because they make nice linear combinations, but 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 in the end we're just timesing scalars by vectors and adding them.